Hey everyone, welcome to our channel and another how to guide about Apache Hop, this time about pipeline execution and data movements. One fundamental concept often faced by newcomers to Apache Hop is the parallel execution of pipelines and the sequential execution of workflows. Parallel processing means that data transforms within a pipeline are executed simultaneously. Meanwhile, actions within workflows progress sequentially, one after the other, keeping a predetermined order to maintain dependencies. However, this behavior is the default or standard approach. In this video, we'll delve into some exceptions and scenarios that may arise for pipeline execution. In the given scenario, there's a simplified pipeline. It generates 10 rows and then adds a sequence number. The add sequence transform is linked to a dummy transform, which only receives the data without performing any additional actions. Suppose that you need to connect the add sequence transform to two transforms instead of one. If you, for example, try to connect the second dummy transform, a warning message will be displayed. Let's take a moment to check this message. Explicit partitions and load balancing is something we'll cover in another video. The warning indicates that with the distribute rows method, the destination transforms receive rows in turns. And with the copy rows method, all rows are sent to all destination transforms. So what does this imply? Let's choose the distribution method first. What will happen in this pipeline is that, in case of these 10 rows for example, 5 rows will go to dummy 1 and 5 rows will go to dummy 2. This pipeline speeds up due to the data volume, but try it with 10 million rows to notice the data movements in the execution metric. Focus on the execution metrics for the add sequence transform. Does this transform receives all the 10 million rows and then adds the ID? No, this transform receives some rows, adds the ID, and distributes the rows to dummy 1 and dummy 2 until all rows are processed. Let's see it again slower. This is a clear example of how pipelines executes in parallel by default. Now go back to the original scenario, but this time select the copy rows option. Each hop from the add sequence transform now displays a copy icon. When the pipeline is executed, all 10 rows will be sent to both dummy one and dummy two. This pipeline also runs quickly because of the data volume, but we can test it with 10 million rows to observe data movements in the execution metrics. Now focus on the amount of rows received by the dummy transforms. Note that the dummy transforms progressively receive the rows after being processed by the add sequence transform. Also, note that both dummy transforms receive the 10 million rows. The read metric for both is 10 million at the end, while the written metric for the add sequence is 20 million, the sum of both. Some remarks to finish, number one and one of the most important concepts in Apache Hop, pipelines executes in parallel by default. Number two, distribution is the data movement by default. Number three, when explicitly selecting the copy option, all connected transforms will receive all the rows. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to stay updated on all our latest content.